Thank you for watching this presentation. This presentation describes the technologies of SFR being researched by our laboratory. Why is Japan developing sodium first reactor technology? There are two reasons. To increase energy self-sufficient ratio and to reduce nuclear waste. In Japan, now energy self-sufficient ratio is only 4%. In order to increase this ratio, SFR is one solution. And the quantities of nuclear waste is increasing, so we have to reduce this kind of waste from a viewpoint of environment. Thus, it is important to aim for the realization of a fast reactor and nuclear fuel cycle for Japan's future. However, when we consider utilization of SFR, we must never forget negative aspect of nuclear power. March 11, 2011, we experienced terrible disaster, Fukushima died nuclear accident. What the disaster imposed on us is necessity to ensure safety of nuclear power plant, the safety coping with beyond design basis accident, including severe accident caused by rare and uncertainty event. So, we need to ensure safety of nuclear power plant. The design of SFR is different from light water reactors such as Fukushima Daiichi nuclear power reactor. Therefore, SFR has both advantages and disadvantages in the light of safety. We have two approaches to enhance safety of SFR. One is numerical analysis of phenomena regarding SFR characteristics. The other approach is safety assessment based on risk-informed approach. First, numerical simulation. In design of JSFR subplane system, we need to find that thermal hydraulic phenomena. Numerical simulation is effective tool. We research following thermal hydraulic phenomena using numerical simulation. In cycling system, not gas bubbles exist, and these gas bubbles may cause these problems. In steam generator, steam rotor reaction have been happened. Firstly, we explain numerical study for bubble dynamics. System dynamics code of the inert in the primary system was developed in the previous work. But these simple models are not precious enough to describe the bubble behavior in detail. So some bubble behavior analysis are implemented for sophistication of this code. For example, we analyze the bubble behavior at the internal nozzle which is located in high pressure plenum. As you can this movie, we simulate bubble's behavior at the internal nozzle by using one-way tracking method and proposed non-dimensional model. In addition, dissolve gas tends to nucleate and turn to bubbles on walls in intermediate heat exchanger. We, aim, we investigated bubble detachment mechanism relation to forces acting on bubble on a wall using both and pyrrhic method. Next is steam generator. Once heat transfer to first, water leaks into sodium and sodium water reaction happens. Sodium water reaction causes erosion and corrosion called wastage phenomenon. It is important to predict the wastage, but sodium water reaction cannot be observed in experiments. And so we simulate the sodium water reaction with numerical approach and we could visualize the sodium water reaction. From visualization and hierarchization of sodium water reaction, the precision wastage rate prediction could be improved. Second one is safety assessment. There are mainly two types of approaches for safety assessment, deterministic approach and risk-based approach represented by PRA. After Fukushima accident, the importance of PRA is increasing because it can treat rare and uncertain events. So we are working on improvement of PRA methodology. In addition, we study risk-informed decision-making, which mixes these two approaches. Through this mixed approach, we can control risk and enhance safety of SFR. We are working on reduction of uncertainty in seismic PRA for seismic isolated nuclear power plants. Due to complicated behavior of isolation layer, seismic responses of systems have large uncertainty. In order to decrease this uncertainty, we select an appropriate seismic intensity for this system. And also, we study how the uncertainties affect the decision. In PRA, there are three types of uncertainties regarding our state of knowledge. We evaluate impacts of these uncertainties on the decision using uncertainty propagation and sensitivity analysis. Let us summarize our SFR research. These two approaches contribute to enhance safety of SFR. We hope to establish the safest SFR and contribute to solving energy problems. This concludes our presentation. Thank you for your attention.